We're going to take a look at some charts of Home Depot now with the street's technical analyst, Bruce Kamek. Good to see you, Bruce. Hi. So we're going to focus on Home Depot, and you want to show us, first of all, a 10-year chart because history tells us something very interesting. Let's take a look at what happened with that stock over the past 10 years. So what are we looking at? Well, Home Depot is a member of the Dow uh, 30. It's probably one of the best-looking charts in there compared <laughs> to some of the other ones we know. And um, it came down with the housing uh, collapse in 07. And then from 08 through uh, 2011, it went sideways roughly around $30 a share. And then in 2012, it took off, and uh, it reached another plateau around $75, and then it's continued higher. So we saw this move of volume here that occurred right after the base. What was going on there? Well, this is a, a simple cumulative uh, moving total of volume. If the stock closes up on a day or up on a week, we add it, and if it closes down, we subtract it. Uh, so it's easier to read than other charts because it's a nice, simple, clean line. And typically, the old saying on Wall Street is volume precedes price. So it started to go up in 09, be well before the breakout. So somebody was aggressively accumulating it for two years. Um, and it broke out in terms of volume well before the price breakout. So let's take a look at the past year because you've also found some interesting developments there in terms of what we might see for a breakout going forward. So we'll pull up that one year chart. All right, so let's go back to about here and you can explain to me what's happened okay. in the months. So we had another sideways period, um, kind of stuck between 110 and 120, had a little false breakout, another one when the market was soft in here over the summer and it just broke out again. And this whole time this line is gradually increasing. So again, the on balance volume line supports the price action and precedes it. And um, uh, this breakout is probably getting us started on a move to 150, which was a doubling of that sideways mm. move around 75 a couple of years ago. And we have other counts that carry it into 155, 160. So not a bad move for a leadership name in, in the uh, Dow. Not at all. Potentially a very big move to come in. Where's the support level on a stock like this? Okay. The, uh, where it had trouble getting through, 120, will act as support if it retraces there. And I think a, a safer place for people that want to be investors in, in Home Depot would be just under this low. So a sell stop around 111 would be appropriate. All right, Bruce Kamek, great to talk to you again. Same. Thanks. I'm Rhonda Schapler for The Street.